Good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a different massive box video for you guys. That seems to be sort of a theme here on the channel. Today, we have Horror Figures Edition. I have Brad's massive box full of all the horror figures that I believe he has in his collection. I'm pretty sure this is all of them. If it's not... Um, we are just missing just a few here, but uh, we're going to zoom in here, and I'm just going to take you through them. Uh, you guys seem to like the horror action figure videos when they interact with the WWE figure, so I guess this is sort of like a horror figure collection video. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into it right here. The first figure that we do have is the brand new NECA Pennywise and this is the first version. This is the, uh, you know, not the remake. This is obviously from, I, I, can't, I don't even remember the uh, year that this was released. I don't think I was born just yet. But this is the Tim Curry Pennywise. And this figure is very nice, very good detail. This figure has not made an appearance in a setup video. So maybe in another week and a half or two, uh, he'll make a debut in the WWE figure setup. So we have the Pennywise right there. Then we have the 2017 Pennywise edition right there. And which one do you guys like better? Do you like the uh, 27 re 2017 remake? or do you like the original Pennywise better? I think they're both bad A. Um, this, this is a great remake figure, but the original, I love the original so much. It, it made me laugh more than anything. I just loved uh, Tim Curry as it so much and Pennywise. So there's both figures right there. So we have both versions of Pennywise. Next up, we have a NECA Jason statue. This is part seven. Of course, Kane Hodder, we got the uh, machete falling out of his hand right there. This is more of like a statue with barely any articulation, but it is still a figure. He's got his chain there, a bunch of beautiful detail underneath his ripped up uh, jumpsuit or whatever you want to call that. We got his ripped up pants and everything. Very good detail. If Mattel put all this paint detail on their figures, it would probably look a little bit off. But uh, next up, we have the Nintendo version of uh, Jason right here. He's got his, you know, this is the way he looked in the video game. And uh, I don't know, it's not my favorite figure, it's a bit deformed, you can see the mask is a bit warped, I think that was NECA's fault, not mine, but uh, you see the machete, he's like a white color, he's like a bunch of blue tones and stuff like that. Not my favorite figure of Jason, but it's not a bad one, it's cool and have it in the collection right there. Next up, we have this one right here, he's got the axe in his head, and I think Brad actually glued that down in the cut there, so you know Jason's always got an axe wound in his uh, head, so... I mean, this figure's a little loose. What is that? Loosey-goosey on the pants there. So we do have a loose Jason figure right there. Next up, we have Part 2 Jason, and he does have his pickaxe in his bag on his head. Um, Brad likes to keep it positioned this way. I don't know why. I guess he thinks it's a good pose. It's solid posing. You know, not too bad. Got the eye hole right there in the bag. Uh, nice plaid colorway there from NECA. And great little, you know, shading in the pants down there. So this is a part two, Jason. Next up, we do have Pyramid Head. I believe this is from Silent Hill. This figure's absolute trash to pose. It falls apart anytime you try to do anything basic with it. So this is Pyramid Head. You can see all the guts and intestines and whatever that's supposed to be under there. Good sculpt work. But yeah, this figure is so small. He has a very badass weapon right here. But it's just so trash to pose, guys. He literally falls apart in your hand. So we have Pyramid Head right there. We have... Another Jason, and this one is maskless, and there's the axe wound right there. You can see good detail on the face right there. You guys can see what that looks like, maskless. It's got a little extra paint or uh, blood there on the paint. No, no, that was on the other figure, so I'm, I, don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Next up, we have another Jason. I believe this is part four right here, and he looks solid. You know, you got a little bit of a difference between the part three and the part, or maybe this is part three and the other one was part four. I can't remember. Brad's going to kill me, but there's the pants there. Next up, we have a Leatherface, and this is the way he looked in the Nintendo game. That's why he has the uh, green all the way from the neck down. So it's like they put all the detail in the head, and then they were like, you know what, just paint him solid green. That'll do it. But uh, it does this is cloth. It's very nice material, and uh, he does come with his chainsaw, which is solid green. And pretty much everything on this figure is green. It's much like the Jason figure, but uh, it is Leatherface. Next up, we have a statue of the video game version. I believe he has the action figure of this uh, from the video game, but uh, this is the statue. Not very much articulation to this. Very good uh, face detail, though, with Freddy Krueger. We got the hat on there. And again, it doesn't really pose its legs at all. It's more of a statue than an action figure. Next, we have another Freddy, and I believe this is the Ultimate Freddy. His hat fell off somewhere in the box there, but very good detail on this one. I love that head scan. Uh, solid articulation. You got a sweater on there. Nice looking feet and legs there to go with it. Brown kicks going on. And the NECA figures look beautiful, but their articulation is not the best. If they could improve the articulation, guys, it would be, it would be fantastic. 
Next up, we have another Jason. I believe this is the one we saw that was maskless, but now he has his mask on. And then we have another Nintendo or video game Jason with his mask off. So two different versions here. And yeah, all these Jason figures are very, very similar. There's not too much difference between them. But uh, I don't know, I kind of like that black color going on on Jason's skull right there. That looks pretty cool. So we have those two horror figures right there. Next up, we have another Ultimate Freddy right here. And I don't know why his sleeves aren't painted, but that's a very good head sculpt right there of Dave England. I think, no, Robert England is his name. And uh, he's missing his hat again, but his hand's missing. We used that hand for our custom Finn Balor or Prince Debit with the Freddy Krueger face paint. We have... Uh, one of those demon dogs from Nightmare on Elm Street. We have another Jason figure right here with a machete. Again, very much like ones you guys have already seen in this video. We have a leather face figure, and this one's very nice. I love the detail on this one. When this one's holding the chainsaw, it's freaking beautiful. You can see the uh, leather apron right there, and it does have the blood spatter on there, so that's very nice. I do like the details with the blood splatter and the nice jeans and everything. Again, NECA always killing it with the detail. They just don't have very good articulation. Uh, next up, we do have another demon dog possessed thing. And then we have our final Jason figure. And it's, again, the same thing. So he has a bunch of different versions and stuff. They, I think there's slight variations and stuff, but I don't know the differences. Brad would have to tell you. But if you zoom in the box here, you can see all the different weapons. We got chainsaws and gravestones, tombstones. We got pitchforks, machetes, Jason masks everywhere. We got Freddy Krueger hats, meat cleavers, we got some flames, and all sorts of different accessories down in the box. But that pretty much does it for this massive box full of horror figures here today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, again, I, I, I wish I had more info and stuff on the figures themselves. It probably would have made the video better. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, maybe Pennywise, this version of Pennywise, can make his debut in the new setup videos. But that does it for this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. That's it, Finn.